Hello and welcome back to a new LEGO City update. Today I'm going to work on the elevated railway because as you can see there are some quite large gaps with no supports and that makes it pretty unstable as you can see. So I'm going to work mainly on that. And since I've never shown you how I'm actually building those supports and my elevated railway in general, I'm going to start with that. All right, so those are all the parts I need for the construction of my elevated railway. So I have two of those boat masts right here. And I'm going to use those Technic pins and connect them to the upper hole, like that. And then I'm going to use those Technic bricks, those 1 by 2 modified bricks with a hole in them, and connect them like that. Then I'm using a 2 by 10 plate and connect it up here. And a 2 by 8 and connect that on top like that. And then I'm using those 4 by 8 plates just like that. And then, of course, some rails on top of that. So, and that's the very basic construction of my elevated railway. Um, the very simple one, so whenever I have it going um, above its own area, sort of, so the road is here and here on both sides and not below and there are no train tracks or anything below that then I'm using this construction whenever I'm crossing train tracks I'm just adding one brick on each side and then I have the right height um, whenever I'm having it above a, a Lego road plate of course the, the supports need to be um, longer away from each other so I'm having longer plates here and another design idea that just came to my mind is using those inverted slopes let me get some focus right here and just connect them down here just connect them here and here like that and so all right so i think this looks not perfect but better in my opinion so it, it should be going like this right that it would look a lot more smooth but I think for now that's okay and I just wanted to show you how I'm building my elevated railway which is actually pretty 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 simple honestly not that not that difficult and not that expensive so I'm going to add some of those supports in my city and then I'm gonna get back to you. So this area right here was just way too unstable. So I've added the supports here and before that I'd only had this one right here and that one and that was just way too unstable. So that's a lot better now. And I've also added in some base plates like that, which makes that a lot more stable. And yeah, 
I'm going to add some more supports and after that I'm gonna get back to you so here I've added another support but this one isn't added in the normal 90 degrees way like those are because here I have this weird 45 degrees curve um, so this one is angled as well and I did that by using such a turntable and I just have the normal support and then I stack a turntable upon it and then I can add the elevated railway on it and this is perfectly fine um, I'm going to add another one right here because as you can see we have a pretty large gap here as well so I'm going to do that and then I'm gonna get back to you and now I've added in the second support which is built again in the normal 90 degrees way and I've achieved that by adding jumper plates down here so the supports are still connected to the jumper uh, to the base plates below via those jumper plates and that works just fine I've also added uh, another plate right here hope you can see that um, to give the whole structure just more stability and yeah so I think that was some small but necessary progress here uh, let me know what you think about it any ideas suggestions feedback leave that in the comments down below and I see you in the next video bye